Oh, hello, you insouciant long pings. It is I, Sam of SG1, coming at you for my haul video, video even. As you can probably tell, I am completely destroyed from TFN. I got back home yesterday, today being Tuesday, um, and I'm going to show you the fucking plethora of plastic that I purchased. Oh my god, all P word. <laughs> um, yeah, I bought fucking shit. <laughs> I spent fucking money. Right, these are going to be in no particular order because I can't remember where, uh, when I got them, what day. They're just going to be where I got them from. So, um, let's just... They're not going to be in any order. They're just going to be what's at hand. So, I'm going to do my box stuff first, though. So, um, the last purchase of the weekend... Uh, well, one of the last purchases of the weekend was... I went to Gundam Mad. And I got a fucking Gundam. Yes, it's an action figure, but it's not its not a model kit. And everybody's going, it's not a proper Gundam if you don't build it. I have literally no building skills. Um, I am looking forward to having a play with this. I've not had a play yet because I've left everything in on my box to box to show you the video, you see. So I got a Gundam from Gundam Mad and I paid a £10. It should have been 15 but I talked it down to 10 And she went, sure, and I now have an RX-782. Excellent, isn't it? Um, so, uh, we'll put that down there just for now. Um, off Raymond T, the legend that is Raymond T. If you don't know, know, know that name, you'll know the guy. He's got long grey hair and he's always the one that videos all the panels. Um, he's a great guy, absolutely fantastic dude. Uh, all the way from uh, Holland. So, and he was kind of to donate me these. Um, these are the Siege, what have we got? Aimless and Calibest. Um, battle masters, or as I like to call them, target masters. Yes, so yeah, they're, they're quite cool. I quite like those. Um, yeah, pretty nice. So I got those two as well. Um, <clears throat> off Nick, one of the things I got off Nick, um, Nick Snowden, um, I bought this because I am mentally ill, it seems. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's the Classics Megatron Optimus 2-pack with the rotating waist, well, chest and arm of Megatron. This is an awful, 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 awful set, but I kind of love it, so I got that. <laughs> Expect a review on that. <clears throat> um, oh, yeah, before I go any further, for my birthday, he gave me one of these. Mr. Mally, Mr. Mally, can I come to the toilet, please? Yes, it is. Um, Pinky Punky, um, yes, he did say it was Transformers adjacent. I, uh, yeah, I, <laughs> so yeah, um, ah, it's cool, I like it. I always liked Timmy Malley, I think, uh, Wackadale was a great show. Um, so, it's just silly, isn't it? Yeah, so you give me that. <laughs> um, oh, I went to In Demand because they had some deals on. And I got a Legacy Evolution hot shot because I've been after some of my other stuff from there, uh, from Legacy. And he's, I had a chance to play with him yet, but from what I understand, he's a really cool figure. And I only paid 12 quid for him, so fucking steal, innit? Um, so I got him. Um, I also got the um, Black uh, Preceptor um, Magnificus, and he was only 13 quid. This is the kind of price I want to pay for these things. Um, yes, yeah, so I got him because I've got him in my local um, Forbidden Planet, and it's forty-five quid. So for the cost of this, we've got three of them. Um, yeah, so so he's all in there. I've not opened them up yet, but I will be after this video. I will be having a play. So we've got him. Um, we've got uh, we've got Legacy. Um, oh, what do you call him? Kid Brain's gone. Twincast and Rewind, um, yes, that is cool, I've been after this guy a while, because my first legacy figure was in fact a blaster, so you know, um, it's nice to have a blue blaster, or Twincast as we call him, um, expect full reviews on everything I'm doing, um, yeah, so there we go, so that's that, and I got a Cosmos off Carl, he managed to find one at Smith's for me, um, it was £10, and I £10'd him, and he gave me this, which was very nice. Um, been after, I wanted this guy, so I do love a bit of Cosmos. He's cool. He's cool, he's cool, he's cool. And last year's TFN, they were selling these at like 60, 70 pounds. And I'm like, fuck off. 
But for a tenner, mine. He's mine now, Cosmos. Um, oh, yeah, before I go any further, I got this t shirt off Lucan. Um, it was donated to me by Lucan. Um, he has a sock called Lucan's Tees. There will be a either a link in the description or one of those pop up boxes here or a, something there. But yeah, go to Lucan's Tees. He's a cool dude. He's, he's, he's awesome. And a fucking nutcase. But I, I, my can nutcase, so it's awesome. I love it, it's great. Um, right, so, um, where we're we going next? Leicester Vintage Toy Shop was there. Um, so I bought a Octopunch. Now he's missing the little, um, but he's 30 quid. He's missing the tight, the, the um, crab legs. But do you know what? I'm not that bothered, to be quite honest. Um, I've got an Octopunch. These are quite expensive. He's mostly completely just missing the thingy. And I'm sure I could get a reproduction one of the uh, set of those, so not ultimately bothered. So we've got an, a G1 Octopus, which is very nice. So we'll put you over there. Uh, I also got um, a complete um, Pretender Jazz. Yes, he's in there. Jazz needs work. Um, he, he's seen better days, but so does the, so does the Pretender show. So I'm going to clean this bad boy up. Uh, uh, I've already I've already ordered some uh, toy hacks for this guy. Well, not paid from yet. There's, there's, a, there's, a, <laughs> there's a basket full of stuff. You know, there's a few of these, few of these things I need to get um, um, me put up. So, yeah, um, oh, what did I pay for him? Uh, it was 30 quid as well, so that was pretty cool. Um, so we'll put you over there as well. Um, I got a Flester as well. A mug, a Transformers mug, and a vintage one. I had this back in the day. Um, and I don't know what happened to it, and it looks like it's never been drunk out of either. So, oh man, so have a, 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 oh gee, G1 mug, I'm so chuffed. Um, and it's in fantastic condition. Um, is there dirt on the back bottom? No, there isn't. Um, so there's that on the bottom. But no, um, so I have a vintage G1, and it's really nice to feel as well. The printing's real. It's almost embossed, and if you can see it, you can. You can um, yeah, you can see it there. Like, it's sort of embossed into the thing. It's not like a print on it or anything. Oh, there's it. 1986. So, yes. Um, oh, I'm so chuffed. I'm so chuffed. I've got a vintage G1 mug, which will be my drinking mug from now on. I have loads of mugs, but this one's going to be my proper tea mug. Um, so, where are we going next? Oh, yeah. Uh, we got. I got this. The Autobot Battlefield Headquarters. Now it's missing the missiles. Uh, I've been after this thing for ages. And I didn't know, and they didn't know either, that um, the overflow is broken. I didn't know. They did. They couldn't tell me. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a shame, but he did knock a tenner off it, so I can't argue really. So I got this for 30 quid as well, I think. Um, yeah, so. So not bad, not bad. If I can repair it, I'm going to see if I can repair it. I've got some plastic weld. Um, so I wonder if that will work on it. But if not, I'll have to find another one of these. But yeah, it, this is a great little thing. It's rubbish, but I love it. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a bit disappointing about that, but it's one of those things. But it's, yeah, it's the Battlefield Headquarters. Um, the MicroMaster Base. Um, it's, you know, the Decepticons had Thunder Arrow. The Autobots had this. But what I do like about the Micro Masters though is they turn into a smaller version of this, which is pretty cool. So it is missing the missiles on the on the on the truck to the side of the truck there, but it's got the guns. Um, so it's pretty cool. I'm really chuffed about that. So we'll put that put you over there as well. Um, off Graham, um, he got one of those off in demand. I was not quick enough. Uh, there was given a, a box away that had a toy in it and it had a um, few trinkets in it, and I got this little. Metal Ultra Magnus. Um, it's really cool. It's really heavy as well. Yeah, I'll give you a closer look at it. Um, it's a really nice thing. I mean, especially if you've got, like, you haven't got a lot of space, or you've got an office, or you've got a desk, and you want to put some Transformers in there, this is the kind of thing you do. It is super, super nice. Super detailed as well. When, I, when it focuses in. Are you going to focus in for me? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's fantastic. I love that. Listen. It's really fucking heavy, but it's really nice as well. It's really well well made, and and he just just went, oh, um, you have it if you want it. I was like, oh, cheers, dude, thank you very much. So I got him. Um, let's put it in there. I don't know what where it comes from. It says not for sales. It's obviously a, a freebie. They were giving away somewhere, but I'm not quite sure where these came from. 
but um, it's in three as well, so there must be a few more of these about. But that's a really nice thing. So you know, just move um, off Rob's table. Uh, Rob is um, Bazzy's mate. Um, I got. Uh, I think it's hardtop, Cybertron hardtop. Now I do have a version of this mold, but I just don't have the. I got the. Now I want to say the classics one. With it was in a two pack with Clocker, but I wanted the yellow one. So and he was ooh, six pound. Uh, I think six pound. I think I paid for this guy. Um, and he's really cool. I do like the little Jeep mode. It's great. It's a lovely little transformer. This. Um, you know, it, it's just. It's one of those that you can mess with for ages, and it's a super simple transformation, but it's a good transformation at the same time, you know? So I got him, um, and I also got um, oh, this guy, Rolba, I can't remember his name, I found, but I got him as well. Uh, I might have gone a bit Energon mad as well. <laughs> but he's a really cool little figure as well. Um, hard top, road, Bastard. I don't know, I can't remember his name. Um, I got him anyway. Um, and because I spent a tenner, he was doing a thing of grab a thing out of a box, and I got a, uh, a bot bot as well. Um, I love bot bots. I didn't buy me nearly enough, I should have done. Um, but I got a bot bot, and he turns into a packet of crisps. <laughs> Look at his face. It's so. Ah! That was my face when I, on Saturday night when I uh, impromptu gave an astrophysics. Uh, lecture, which was fun. Um, I'll explain all that later. I'm gonna do this is my boss video. I'm gonna do a thoughts video later. Um, so I'll get this up today. Probably that. Do that one maybe tomorrow for work. I don't know. So there's 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 that one, which is pretty cool. Um, and I also managed to find him Ramjet. So now he can go with my um, my uh, bah, 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 the big tidal wave. There we go. You can see I'm, my brain's not functioning properly still. Um, yeah, so he can go with Tidal Wave, and then I can do a review of him, yes. So I got him. Off Marcus, um, he gave me, or he gave me, sold me, Tripedicus, and he's pretty cool. I've not quite figured out a way to transform him yet, but, um, yeah, so I've got Tripedicus, which I've been after, because I got Magnaboss a few years ago, and now I've got Tripedicus as well. So I'm really chuffed about that. Uh, this guy looks fucking cool, I like him. So yes, yeah, so I've got him off Marcus, so that's pretty cool. Um, and he is complete, I've got his gun there as well. Off Dean! Dean just came over to me and he was after some um, Armada stuff. I went, yeah, and he just handed me this guy. Um, a long um, smoke screen. Um, and he's really cool. Um, he's a terrible figure, but he's cool at the same time. <laughs> But yeah, he's cool. check out this gimmick. He, he move, he moves the um, crane arm, and then his head moves left and right, which is pretty cool. And it's an, it's a nice little transformer. It's got one of those um, transformations that uh, sorry, I've got the back door open. It's a lovely day. I get some fresh air in. Um, it's one of those transformations that is easy to do, but kind of satisfying at the same time. But permit me to demonstrate. You just do that, and then you do this. Them like that, then like that. Can you get back to place? Big transformed into a really cool little um, crane. It's really cool. There we go. That's it. There we go. And yeah, it's, it's it's pretty fucking awesome. You can't, but you can't raise this up. But you never know. But it it's. It's fantastic, no robot kibble, apart from the head at the back, but you know, it's pretty fucking cool, so I got him, him off Dean. Um, uh, another thing off Nick, I bought this colossal piece of garbage. <laughs> this is Energon Ironhide, for those of you who don't know. Yeah, they're notoriously bad, but you know what though, there's some fucking weight in this. You could, you could probably bludgeon somebody to death with this. Um, it's just, it gets some bad rep. I think the actual, I think what's happened, what gives this a bad rep is the character in the show is terrible, but this toy is really cool. Um, you know, 
you've got this huge light and sound bar at the back, which is pretty pretty. But this thing would have cost about 25, 30 quid back in the day. And he rolls really well, and he's so heavy as well. Yes, yeah, so like I said, I've got a bit of energy on that. Um, so yeah, he's, he's, he's pretty cool. So I got him. I think it's 20. I think he knocks it. It's 15. I can't remember. It's been a few days. <laughs> so I got him. Um, off Dave and Sven, I got one of these. This is a... You have different combadges, and I love a good combadge. This combadge is from Star Trek The Next Generation episodes Future Imperfect and uh, Parallels, where the Future Imperfect is... Riker wakes up in the future and he sees these. Everybody has these com badges, and these bars represent the rank. On this one, it's lieutenant. So you've got the two gold bars and then the two black bars. Um, I'd like to have had a captain one, but you know he didn't have a captain one. Um, and it's really nice, really heavy. Um, and let me just take it out of this case. Um, and it's just super, super nice. And it's. You know, it's even nicer. It's not a lot nicer on in person than it is on camera. And that that red there is Tandori. Went for Tandori on Sunday night. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's uh, such such a nice thing. It's so well made as well. Super super nice. Uh, and this is going on my on my uh, hoodie for uh, for a while because I like to alternate. But these cases they got are really cool. It's not like plastic. You know, and then what you do is you put it inside the plastic like that and then you and then you close it up and the plastic goes around it and it's solid in there that ain't going anywhere it's like putting it in carbonite almost so i got that which is really nice um right where now um to Typhu. i might have blown my load at Typhu. so um i got an energon inferno He's really nice as well, um, and I love this thing of, it's nice and solid, uh, again there's not a lot of robot kibble about, I mean yeah you can see the fist at the back there, but you know, um, and his head at the top, but still it's a really cool little vehicle, rolls exceptionally well, um, and you know, it, it's just a nice thing. Energon had some great stuff, great ideas, and particularly if you see this little nub there at the back, and you rotate it, like, come on, it's down, down, it's down. isn't that cool? That is really cool. I should have got the, um, I did it in my hand as well. I should have got the um, grapple version, but you know, it, it is what it is. You get distracted, don't you? But he's a nice thing. So I got him. I'm trying to make some space here. Um, I got, um, where are we going? Energon Dive Bomb, you know, the Terracons. This thing is lovely, actually. I love these wings with these like Energon parts going through. Um, this is a nice thing. I do like this thing. Um, oh, he was 10, I think. This guy was 8. 7 or 8, I think. Might have been 7. I can't remember. Um, so you must buy from Toy Food. Um, they raised this year 50, 50, plus, 50 grand plus. Um, when I spoke to Nick uh, Davidson before we left, he left before I did yesterday, and he was saying that he, at the when he told me they were still counting, they were still waiting for PayPal and uh, credit card payments to go through. But at 50 grand they were at, which is amazing, amazing, amazing for Mary's meals. So you must buy from Typhoon. So you know, um, so I got him. Also, I got his partner, Battle Ravage. Again, I think eight. Nine pound maybe I can't remember, um, but he's, but these these things are really lovely. Um, you know, like I say, Energon was was making was doing things differently, and just really nice, really really cool. Um, they should have been sold as a two pack, but you know, there you go. Because then you could have army built them. But you know, it, it's a nice thing. I really do like these both. Um, so yeah, so I got those. Like I say, Energon mad. Um, um, I did get some G1. I got Action Master Rollout. I think he was like seven quid, I think. And his partner, Glitch. Um, so I got him. There's nothing to ride on about. He's an Action Master in it. He's actually pretty solid for an Action Master. The, the, the arms aren't that loose. His legs aren't that loose. So whoever had this 
and done it to tofu, kept it nice for all these years. There's a few bit of paint wear on, on you know, on the four wheels there, but it's a, it's a, you know, 40 year old toy nearly, so, you know, you can accept it. But, you know, it, it's pretty cool. So I've got him. Um, what else can I get? Uh, oh yeah, um, I got this. I got Ahmad Elizabeth. I think it was £4, I think I want to say. Um, and he's, he's really cool. I've never, I never owned one of these. He's one of the only Amada figures I never had back in the day. Because I had quite most of them, but I'd never had this. Um, and you press that and it goes, boom! And then you just transform it really quickly like that. And then pull his legs down. And he's a, he's, a, he's a little birdie bird. Isn't that cool? You know, and then you transform him back just as easy. And you open that out. And he's a little camcorder, which is pretty cool. Hey, hey, YouTube. <laughs> yeah, and you flip that round, you've got a little picture of his prime there as well, which is really cool. And then you pull this down at the bottom, and now he's a gun. He's, he's a little gun. But that's cool. Um, that is really cool. Um, why I didn't buy this back in the day, I don't know. It's just a lovely little thing. Um, so I got him. Um, um, one of the things I'd um, pre-ordered with uh, Nick Davidson was Leader One. Now I've got, a, now I have a complete Hayev. Now I have a complete um, Amada Megatron, which is on that pile somewhere. I was in here, I can't remember. So I can now do a proper review of him and um, Tidal Wave, which is pretty cool. So I got him. I think it was only four pounds. I think. Yes, four pounds. I want to say. Um, then I went and got these fellas. This is uh, Beast Machine's um, Scrapper, uh, Scavenger rather, should I say? And he's really cool as well. He's, he's, he's weird. You pull this bit out and, he, and his jaw snaps because reasons. Um, I think it's supposed to be like a digger. Um, it's, it's, it's really cool. Um, it's really, really cool, actually. I'm really liking this thing. Um, it's, it's a weird transfer, but it's from Beast Machine, so it's got to be weird. Um, so I expect a full review on this guy soon as well. Um, but I've, it seems like I've got a bit of everything this year, you know. Um, apart from Bayverse, which I'm not a big fan of. Um, I don't get any Prime stuff either, damn it. Anyway, never mind. Um, so I've got, got him. Then i got the repaint of him as well. Uh, this is Robertson Disguise Scavenger. Um, exactly the same toy, just in blue. And whereas his claws are in silver, his are in gold, and it's a nice sort of, you know, nice side by side piece, you know? So I've got those two. Um, actually, the last thing I bought toy wise at the weekend would have been this bad boy. Um, because I, uh, well, I have this, right? But my, but mine. This cannon it had exploded. The spring somehow just so I just needed a junker to repair him. But this seems to be in really good condition. So what I'm going to do is just going to get the parts and make him complete again. So I expect to review on Optimus Primal. Um, Opt Optimal Optimus, yes, he's cool. I really do like this. I got this. Um, yeah, so I was really chuffed to find him. And he was a tenner, I think. If I've got some of these prices wrong um, and you're watching how I bought them from you, please correct me, but I just can't fucking remember. My brain is shot. <laughs> so I got Optimal Optimus. So he's cool. And the best thing, the only thing I wanted, really, at TFN, and it was the first thing I bought from Typhoon, I got G2 Megatron. Oh, I've been after this thing a long time. You know, make a tongue of cack. But he's here in my house, and he's going to live here with me now. Um, yeah, so I've got G1 Prime, or G2 Prime over there, and we. I'm so chuffed on about this. It was the one thing I wanted, and um, Typhoon had it, and I went mine. And uh, I think the price stick is still on here. Forty-five. This guy was. It's complete. However, his gun is a little bit broken. Not too much. Not too bothered. But he has this bit, and he has some some of the missiles in there. Um, but there's no batteries in it. Nick did say to me he's, he wasn't sure if the batteries were still working, but uh, the electronics were still working. And I said, I'm not, ultimately not bothered, but you know, 
I'll check it when I get home anyway. And he was like, cool. And he went 45. And I just went here. And he went there. And I. So you must buy from Toy Fair. So that was the term of toys I got. I got other things too. Yes. So that's the toys. Um, oh yeah, um, Tripedicus is complete and he has his instructions as well. Same with um, um, Pretender Jazz and um, Autobot, Autobot Headquarters. Uh, there, I've got the instructions for those as well. Off uh, Ryan Butler, um, he was the guy wearing the Transformers t-shirt in the GoBots font and he also had a Video Gems t-shirt which he didn't have in my size, I was a bit disappointed. I bought some stickers. You know, Decepticon sticker pack. I need these stickers. I five I want to say for these. Um, Galvatron, this is bad comedy. Uh, we've got the Insecticons that say om nom 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 nom, which is cool. We've got Megatron, a uh, bit in the Decepticon symbol walking, looking really, really pissed off. And then we've got Science Glitches, um, which is pretty cool. Um, so I need somewhere to put these. Too bad I don't have a laptop because these, I'll just put these on the back of the laptop. But these are cool. I like stickers and I got some of those, which is really nice. I uh, got them in the forge. Uh, like I said, I got this off Luca, I said earlier. Um, oh, um, oh, I'll give you this now. Chris, Chris Evans, America's ass himself. You might know him as Welsh, Chris. Um, he gave me this, the Masterpiece Megatron coin. Um, I think In Demand were giving these out as well. So I got one of those, which is very nice. Uh, we'll go with the other ones I don't have, but I've got the coins for. <laughs> um, yeah, 2017, yeah. It's pretty cool. I like the fact that he looks like his chest, you know, which is pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, so I've got, I got that. So there's that. Uh, oh, Raymond T. Now, Raymond T is a fucking nutcase, but I love him dearly. Um, he gave me this. <laughs> Donkey Kong Kiwi. And he said it's on like Donkey Kong. Because that's what I say when TFN's on, innit? I go, it's on like Donkey Kong. So that is going to go on my key ring. Um, yeah, so really, really chuffed when he gave me that. I was so surprised, but cool. He gave me... Oh, I've got... You get the wristbands. I don't like putting the wristbands on. People do. Um, I understand why the necessity for these things. But I just don't like wearing them around my wrist. That's why I don't wear a wrist, wrist watch. Don't like it. Um, so I just attached it to this lanyard, which uh, uh, he gave me as well. Raymond say it's got Amsterdam on it. On it, Amsterdam. Amst I can't even speak. Amsterdam on it. There we are. And he gave me one of these as well. It's like a uh, pass with Black Zarak on it. TF Nation pass. And uh, oh, he's put. Do you know? I didn't even see this. I wasn't even looking at it. He's put all my social medias on there as well. So if you want to get in contact with me, they're all on there. So thank you, Raymond T, for that. Um, I just, I, do you know, I didn't even sit at it. Oh, what a nice dude he is. He really is a nice dude. Yeah, he's put me Facebook, um, my YouTube, my Instagram, my Patreon. Um, he's left off Twitter, but nobody goes on Twitter anymore anyway. But yeah, so basically all my socials are there. If you want to catch me there, you can. Um, so yeah, so it's not too bad. So I've got those as well. So I love that. It's great. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna leave that to last actually. Off the um, as part of the welcome pack from TFN, I got a set of these. I think everybody got a set of these. Um, these are the stamps that came out last year, but just instantly sold out because the Queen, bless her soul, died. And these are the last printed stamps with the Queen heads on, which is. Kind of cool in itself, but so there's Optimus Prime. There is Megatron. Um, there is Bumblebee. Um, there is Starscream. There is Grimlock. There is Shockwave. There is RC. I think a lot of people are getting these sand by Sue Blue. I'll get into that in a minute. Uh, there's my boy Soundwave and Laserbeak. There is Slag. There is Swoop. There is Sludge. There is oh, there is Snarl. There, go. there is Grimlock, and there is uh, all the Dinobots together, which is really cool. Um, I'm really appreciative about that. Really appreciative about all these because I was gutted I couldn't find the stamps, but now I have these. Um, 
these are going to go into the um, these are going to go into a nice frame um, oh, so these were um, designed by the chase illustrated by Andrew Wildman Stephen Baskerville and John Paul Beauvais um, all people who are awesome and they are great and um, we're at TFN apart from Andrew Wildman who had to leave because well no he had he, he got te tested positive with COVID and he couldn't attend which is a, which is a bit of a shame but you know you've got to get better first you know so get better Andrew um, yeah so being ill is not fun and I'd rather you be well than you know risk you know, yourself and everyone at Bag and TFN, but get well soon, son. And Andy Collins as well. Um, he had to pull out as well, so um, get well soon, Andy Collins. Um, he was the G2 toy designer. So get well, get well too, sir. Um, so yeah, so I got there. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, I've Jinx. Uh, he gave me one of these. Uh, Raz the Beast poster with uh, the big gorilla himself on it. Optimus Primal, which is nice. I'm going to get a nice frame for that, I think, as well. Um, so yes, yeah, so it's pre pretty banged up because that's that's my luggage though. It was perfect when he gave it to me. <laughs> so we'll just put you over there just for now. Um, oh yeah, I've got the the TF Nation program, which I never look at at the event. <laughs> I really should. There's some great stuff in here, and but I always like to I always read it when I come home. Um, oh yeah, that guy. He's a fucking top dude. Robo and guys were there. I'll get into that later. Um, so, yeah, and it's got all the information in there. It gives you nice little information about the guests. It gives you the ske schedule as well. It's a TF Nation schedule. It tells you what panels are on and stuff. Um, some good panels this year, actually. Uh, the Gunfire Gunfly one was a bit silly, but really informative as well. Carnage and Sea Miner, I missed that one. Bone of Contention. I saw that one, that was the dinosaur one that um, Mikey, which I didn't get to speak too much, he hadn't been to TFN in a few years, but he's a professor, he's a, he's, he's a doctor actually, at, um, in dinosaurs, and uh, he did a talk about it, which was pretty cool. Mr. Mapes ones, Mr. Finding Your Voice, I watched Triple Take on, which was a lot of fun. Uh, getting Motivated was good as well. I missed the movie, but it's a Transformers movie, I've seen it, that one down. Um, what other what other ones did I, did I see? Uh, oh, the Robo Send was great. Really enjoyed that. Um, I missed all the super ones. Um, missed the missed the cosplay as well. <laughs> um, oh, the mate, we we they brought back the script reading, which is really cool. I'll, I'll talk all about that there in another video. But that was the program. Uh, one thing I do like about this program, which I never do, is. If you need something to get signed, you can take the front page off and you get a nice little poster with everybody there, and you get them to sign it. Which is a really cool idea, actually. Um, so there was the hits. Um, off um, wasp, wasp shop, Ben. He gave me a zine. Um, it's got a big stores, and it's done like the. You remember the um, the uh, Robertson just Longer Meets the Eyes guide books by Dreamwave, um, and they've done different characters in there. I think they've done their own. Um, you know, their own take on them. Um, you know, a bit of fun, a bit of, bit of silliness, which is good. You know, um, so, yeah, so there's different pictures, like pictures of the toy or his actual artwork and stuff. So it's kind of um, a little bit fun and a little bit silly, which is, I've not read it yet properly. I'm going to sit down and probably read this. So that's cool too. Um, oh, another thing off Raymond, he just handed it over to me, was the. Um, I'm not going to get it all out because it's quite a big poster. This is, I believe, the Cinema One sheet for the uh, for the Dutch poster of Rise of the Beasts. And I got David Soboloff to sign it, which is very nice of him to do. Um, yeah, so I want a nice frame for that. Yeah, and it's um, on, on the back there, yeah. So this is the Dutch poster. It's really cool. Um, so I got that as well. Um, and I think I'm coming to the end of it. But... Um, I set some homework at TFN to find some really bad Transformers tat, okay? What I mean by that is, 
not a transforming robot. Not not one of these things, okay? Something with transformers on it, but it's not a toy. That makes sense, okay? And at Leicester um, Video Toy Shop, I found this piece of absolute garbage. It is by Bluebird. It is the big badge, and it's an Optimus Prime's. Um, it's a reverse picture of Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime. Um, box art, and it is awful. <laughs> <laughs> it's only a five, and I went, I've got to have that, that's just so shite. And then it says, um, tough, uh, hand-painted, um, colourful, I think it is. Yeah, it's colourful. Yeah, if if you, if you, your selling point that it's colourful, or something wrong. <laughs> Somebody said, oh, it's tough, and I went, no. They put tough on there, it's like, tough, you're having this back. <laughs> it's got Transformers there. Oh man, this product is fictional. Ah, oh, this 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 product has a functional sharp point and should be given. It should be taken care when holding handling. 1985, this thing. It's been on that card all these years. It's staying on the card. I'm not opening it, but yeah, it is just. There's nothing on the back. <laughs> Big hand painted badges with your favourite character. But some of the fun things are they? <laughs> but yeah, I got that. It's just, this is the kind of thing I was after, after getting, and it's just so fucking shite. <laughs> but I fucking love it. Um, and as for haul goes, um, I think that is it. Yes. Oh no. There is something. I have something else, which I'm not going to show you here. Um, it's very special. I'm going to do it for my eight. Oh, that's the thing I've got at TFM 800 subscribers. Because I've got 800 subscribers now, I'm going to do an 800 subscribers video and I'm going to do it on this special thing I've got. Um, yes, yeah, so there's something else, but I'm going to use it to, you know, as, as a special 800 subscribers video. So then. Uh, I've been laughing on for 40 minutes now, uh, nearly, and um, I hope you uh, enjoyed my haul, because I bought shit, didn't I? <laughs> and um, I hope you had a good TFM, because I certainly did, this is, uh, you can tell I'm still fucked up. Uh, I'm going to go and open these legacy figures and go and have a play with them, uh, and I will catch you all very soon. Um, sorry, I keep spitting up shit. Professionally unprofessional, I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, so I will do another video probably tomorrow, I think, um, because I'm just too tired. So I'm going to go upload this later. Um, and yeah, so a big thank you to everybody who subscribed to me at TFN, and a big thank you to all my subscribers. Um, and it means so much that you take your time out of your day to watch me prattle on about plastic fucking robots. Um, so, if you're new, uh, please like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so I've got new videos out. And if you're in a position to help out the channel, why not consider donating to my Patreon? Um, it's for as little as one dollar a month. You can have your name in the credits, uh, personal shout out. Um, if I remember that, is sometimes I'm so sorry. So thank you all you all my Patreons. You've, you've been so supportive over the years, and you know you deserve better. <laughs> I will try in the view of Joker. Okay. So, um, yeah, um, thank you for watching, and I will see all your piss pants wearing gruffle grabbers very soon. Um, and I miss you all terribly um, from TFN. Uh, miss you all terribly, um, and I will see you all very soon. Bye for now.